Welcome back to Halifax. It is day four of the 2023 World Junior Hockey Championship, and we start with a good one. Sweden against Czechia with lots of implications for the standings in Group A. So the Swedes, who opened with an 11-0 win over Austria, then beat Germany in a nail-biter 1-0. Had to hang on late there. Well, the Czechs beat Canada 5-2, then an easy one, 9-0 against Austria. So this is where you come to the fork of the road for these two teams. Thanks that back to Svozil. Anastas Svozil, the captain of this Czech team, centers it a great chance there for Mahura. And Adam Mahura turned away point blank by Lindbom. He's able to activate on the high roll and slides underneath the defender, Joholm. And that's a nice feed with two Swedish players below the goal line. Joholm. Oh no, that one caught the ref right in the ear. And Rosa moves in, and a quick chance there for Ostland. So a bounce off the official leads to a scoring chance for Sweden. Glances off his helmet, bounces into the middle of the ice, and all of a sudden, Ostland's in alone. And Suhana is forced to make a good save. Almost moved out there by Mahura, and now it is. And Hauser moves in, along with Juracek. Hauser busts in, Juracek scores! Hauser to Juracek to the back of the net. Look out. In the post-game celebration, we got a little bit of a melee there as Juracek was sent flying. But the Czechs have grabbed a 1-0 lead. I think Bista just stumbled underneath Juracek in the celebration, but Hauser has about three cracks to get this puck over to Juracek. Here's one. Didn't quite get it there. Here's another. Elected to wait for a second, and what a good decision by Hauser. Because the key to this pass is you have to make it hard. It's got to be hard enough that Lindholm has a hard time getting all the way through. And there you see, oh, it's Czech who bumps Bistad. Amara. Turns it over, in comes back, he scores! Fabian Wagner gets a gift and ties the game at one. First big mistake, Hamrak has the net. He's trying to pop past the middle. And Wagner leaves his board position, left-handed shot, and jumps to the center of the ice, picks it off in a quick release. So Hanek, before he gets entirely set, I think Hamra wants to get the puck to the guy in the middle of the ice, which is the percentage play, but Wagner baits him and jumps the route. Oscar Pedersen drops that back. Long shot, score! Jansen puts it in. And Sweden has taken the lead. After going 25 minutes, looking like they may not score once in this game, Sweden, two quick ones. Point shot from Janssen drifts in on a one draw. And again, a puck race that Sweden wins. They win, scramble it, and then a good job in front by the big Oscarsson to get in front of Suanek, who can't find the puck just over his shoulder, just under the bar. Shala. Up in for Kulik. Gets a step on Engstrom. Kulik walks in, shoots, and Lindholm makes a great stop. 16 seconds into the third period. There's the speed that Kulik has been looking to find all game long. Able to jump on a loose puck early on. Push Engstrom back. Good cut to the middle. Gets in a really good scoring position, but the one thing Sweden has confidence in more than anything. They got a goalie who has been on top of his game in this tournament. Feeds out ahead for Stronger. Stronger. Feeds it back. He's pitted with a shot that goes high. Bounce and puck. And Sahanak had to reach back and take that away. You no, know, they kind of get back their way in the net. But he right away spots it by keeping his eyes on the puck and recognizes it's coming back over the net. So he's got to get there quickly along with David spot check to make sure it doesn't start bouncing around in the crease. Highly skilled offensive centerman. 
off the draw. You're a oh, How's that at the end of the glove of Limpo? Took the glove out of his hand. Now fires again. That was blocked in front. Absolutely perfect. Nice little pick from Hauser as well. Leans into it. He's going top glove. He does almost take the glove off his hand. Just gets the top cuff. Playing the Quebec League for sure, but right before the tournament began, he'll be wearing the cage until mid-January at least. Got it now. And a quick chance. Hauser shoots off the goal line. That's fired away by Oslin to save the goal there. Oslin spots it. It's going to go in. And he gets there just fractionally ahead of Mahura. Get a check. Walks out of the corner. Feeds that back for the hot check. Swings it back in front. Chapabella up and back. It's Yuri Tehachek ties the game with 5.52 to go in the third period. And the back-to-back -back icings cost Sweden dearly. Some more offense from the defense for the Czechs. It's a give and go between Juracek to Hacek, and Ogren thinks he's going to get to this puck. And when he misses it, now everybody's scrambling. And they never quite recover. And Tahacek goes right in and over that glove that has worked so well for Lindbaum in this game. Unicek dances around Roseanne, works it on Showholm, fires, oh, save. Now Rupert on track, Unicek on the goal line, it's kept out. Chapamala almost tapped that in. That got Amaki back with it. Checks are changing. Rink wide yeah. pass to Janssen, who has a goal in the game. Look at Janssen, walks in, back in the He's got two, and the Swedes win it, three to two. A close call at one end, and then an overtime winner at the other. I thought this was in early. Your check on the wraparound, what an effort it was. Looks like he's got open ice. He's gonna get it there. Gets up in the air. That was Showholm got a oh, stick on it. And Lindholm almost tucks underneath it to make sure he doesn't knock it in his own net. Watch Lindholm on his head. Lindholm just gets out of the way to Could not have been much closer. And then on a change, Jansen who's already got one. Able to protect the puck, gets to the far side of the net, and a really nice finish with Brabinitz can't close him off. The old 10 and 2 froze Brabinitz, and that was a tidy finish for the two goal score and the 3 2 win for Sweden.